Hello everyone, welcome to this new lesson and today I'm gonna show you how you can do sentiment analysis of Twitter data using scikit-learn in Python. Alright, so I have opened here a Colab notebook at Google and if you don't know it, you can visit this link colab.research.google.com then you have to open here a new notebook then you will get something like this one and with by clicking here you can change the name of this notebook all right and then you can toggle your header from here so i'm going to just toggle this header so that i can get here some space and the data twitter data which i'm going to use here you can get it from my repository you need to visit github.com forward slash lakshmi merit and thereafter at this repository you have to write there a twitter data all right so just write there twitter you will get this twitter data and in this twitter data i'm gonna use this one twitter 30k cleaned version of uh, csv data uh, i'm using this because a raw twitter data is a kind of uh, unclean data and uh, it has a lot of garbage so i did some cleaning and this type of the cleaning has been already done on this Twitter cleaned version of the data. All right, like lowercase contraction expansion, removal of emails, URLs, special character removal, etc. Let's go ahead and open this one. Thereafter, you need to click on view raw. And once you click on this view raw, you will be getting the CSV file from here. So the first one is tweet, another one is sentiment. This is first column and second column. So let's go ahead and copy this one. Thereafter, I'm going to import here pandas. So you can write there import pandas as pd. Thereafter, import numpy as np. All right. Perfect. Now I'm going to read this data. So pd.read underscore csv. Thereafter, you need to put this one. All right. Just click on. And one more thing, if you notice, these are the CSV, that's mean the comma separated value. So it will, uh, you know, read this tweet and sentiment in a pandas data frame. It has a tweet and a sentiment. Let's go ahead and read it in a data frame, df. So df is equal to, all right, this Twitter data. Thereafter, you can see first few rows of this data set. All right, so it has a Twitter data and there is a sentiment. All right, now I'm going to uh, use here TF-IDF. All right, so I'm going to use here TF-IDF. That's when term frequency multiplied by inverse document frequency. All right, TF-IDF vector. So with this TF-IDF vector, we will be converting this text data into a numerical data because computer and uh, machine learning algorithm works on only numerical data. So we have to first import tfidf vector from sklearn. So from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text, sorry, uh, dot text import uh, tfidf vectorizer. All right, thereafter from sklearn, from sklearn dot model selection import train test split all right thereafter i'm gonna use here from sklearn dot svm so i'm gonna use here svm model import linear svc all right that's mean linear support vector machine i have imported here thereafter we also need to import classification report to evaluate our to evaluate our machine learning model so from sklearn dot matrix thereafter import classification report all right perfect let's go ahead and run it uh, one more thing let me bring it into a full screen mode so that you can see here all right so we have imported tfidf vectorizer thereafter we have to get our x data the x data is inside this tweet data all right do you remember the first column name it was tweets data all right so we have here a tweets data thereafter in y we have df and it is sentiment all right this one is sentiment there is a tweet let's go ahead and run it now if you notice here x is still this x is still in a, a 
a text data we have to convert this into numerical data so we are going to do it here x is equal to like this one x is equal to tfi uh, in fact before doing this one we have to get here a tfidf so tfidf is equal to tfidf vectorizer all right and in this tfidf vectorizer i'm gonna limit my total um, max features all right you can get here so it has a lot of input parameters so in this input parameter i'm gonna provide uh, let me see where it is yeah so this one max features so i'm gonna provide here this max features is equal to 10,000 all right this is 10,000 thereafter if you notice there is one more uh, we have n gram range all right so we have here n gram range in this n gram range i'm gonna use here one comma two that's mean we are gonna use here unigram and bigram all right once you get this tf idf thereafter we are gonna convert it so x is equal to tf idf dot fit underscore transform all right thereafter there is x so what it is going to do it is going to transform this text data into numerical data let's go ahead and run it it might take a while to complete this process and thereafter you can check the shape of x and it says that there are total 30,000 rows that is the data tweet data and 10,000 column so this 10,000 is total number of features available all right and if you want to print this x you will not be able to see it because this is a sparse matrix and if you want to see a numerical data then you have to convert it into into a numpy array but that is not recommended because this much of uh, this is huge matrix and it will take a lot of the time if you don't store it into a sparse matrix all right so our data is prepared here now let's go ahead and do here train test split so x train thereafter we have x test y train and then we have here y test is equal to train test split in this train test split we have x y uh, you can see there x and y thereafter we are going to provide here a test size so i'm going to provide test size 0 0.2 thereafter i'm going to provide here a random state so that you can also produce same result which i'm getting here a random state i'm going to set here uh, 0 thereafter we have got our x train and uh, x test you can also check the shape of train and test it says that 24,000 rows will be used for a training and 6,000 rows will be used for a testing let's go ahead and create our classifier so there i'm going to use here clf is equal to linear svc and thereafter you can simply do here clf dot uh, fit all right and thereafter you have to provide the training data x train and there is y train let's go ahead and run it it might take a while to complete all right so it's a training is done thereafter you can get the y pred so this is the predicted value is equal to clf dot predict and thereafter you have x underscore test all right so we have got y pred now let's go ahead and see how much accuracy we are getting we can simply type there print and then this classification report in this classification report it first it first take y true so here y true is y test and y predicted is of course y pred so with this one we will be getting here classification report and it says that we have got 74 percent of accuracy with this tfid of vectorizer on the twitter data so it's a quite good accuracy on the given this twitter data and we are using here just uh, tfid of vectorizer by doing some uh, some some more uh, parameter changes and hyper parameter tuning we can increase this accuracy even much better than this 74 percent all right now let's go ahead and see how you can uh, test this uh, twitter data all right so here we have x and in this x i'm gonna uh, uh, say here like x is equal to congratulations all right thereafter um, you have done it all right perfect so this is x thereafter we have to do here 
uh, we have to get the vector and the vector we can get with the tf idf dot transform if you remember now it's uh, different than the fit transform because we only need to fit on the training data on testing data we have to do only transform and then you have to put this x inside a list and with this we get here a vector thereafter you can simply do clf dot uh, predict and then pass here your vector so with this you will be getting here this is a positive sentiment because congratulations you have done it definitely this is a positive sentiment all right congratulations you have completed this video in less than 10 minute thereafter if you want to save this model so that later you can use you can simply use here a pickle import a pickle and uh, thereafter you can simply write here a pickle dot dump all right and uh, then you have to provide here the object which you want to save clf and then you need to provide here a file path which uh, where you want to store i want to store it in root directory thereafter you have to put here this wb says that this is right binary mode let's go ahead and run it once you run it in the in the storage file you will see your model is here this is model and then you can download it simply once this model is downloaded then you can save this model to perform prediction on the sentiment data uh, prediction on the twitter data to get the sentiment of any twitter data all right perfect super congratulations so you have made a twitter sentiment analysis machine learning model using tfidf in sklearn all right thanks a lot for watching it bye bye take care